We all love food, but not all food loves you. In fact, some food can hurt you. Some food should go nowhere near your mouth. These are 20 dangerous foods that can kill you. Number 20. Japanese Fugu Fish Pufferfish are the second most poisonous vertebrate on the planet. Even in second place, though, these fish can contain enough deadly tetrodotoxin to kill 30 humans, so I reckon that second place rating is really irrelevant. They're named pufferfish for the weird way that they protect themselves from would-be predators in the wild. They can puff themselves up to make it extremely difficult for a predator to keep a hold of them, or even sink their teeth in. In reality, this defense mechanism probably saves the predator's life as often as it does the puffer fishes, because just one nibble could kill. Although their reputation as a super deadly poisonous fish is extremely well known, there are still plenty of people out there who want to eat the puffer fish. Crazy perhaps, but it is true. In Japan, this fish is a delicacy known as fugu, but it absolutely must be prepared by a highly skilled, certified person. You make one little tiny wrong cut when preparing a puffer fish, and whoever eats it is a goner. This is a serious business, and although there's approximately one death per year from ingesting this delicacy, there are almost always caused by people attempting to prepare the fish themselves rather than paying the high restaurant prices for an expert to do it properly. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Doritos are everyday chips, people eat them all the time, but did you know they're way more dangerous than you may realize? They're not just unhealthy, they're super unhealthy. They're made with genetically modified corn and flavored with MSG, and they're only that color because they're dyed with dangerous dyes, and they're also high in sodium, and they can cause inflammation which can lead to migraines, celiac disease, asthma, diabetes, and arthritis, and they're considered to be a carcinogen. I mean, why does anybody eat these things? As always, comment down below with a hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Mushrooms the trouble with mushrooms is that these things are extremely tricksy. They may seem completely innocent, but could actually be hiding all kinds of deadly secrets. While there are plenty of edible and delicious mushrooms out there, there are some extra sneaky ones that look a lot like them but they're actually extremely poisonous. So before you skip off into the woods with a basket and a dinner plan for a spot of entrant foraging, make sure that you really know your stuff. In 2019, the American Association of Poison Control Centers reported there had been 5,799 poisonings that were caused by mushrooms, and that also included two deaths. Now call me a safety nerd, but that's an awful lot of careless ingestion of fungus, or there are many Many more chefs with murderous intentions out there than one might imagine. Either way, it's probably a sign that mushrooms can be pretty dangerous if you don't completely know what it is that you're eating. Beware of lethally toxic mushrooms that masquerade as edible ones, and even if you do have a lovely shiny new illustrated guidebook to go with your basket, a genuine foraging expert might actually prove to be the better companion on food finding missions in the woods. Otherwise, they just might not find your body for weeks. Number 18. Raw Cashews now wait a minute, those cashews you've been buying and turning into vegan substitutes for all manner of exciting food-based experiences, <laughs> they can kill you? Well, kind of. Although the label says raw cashews when you buy them at the store, they're actually not technically raw at all.
genuinely raw, straight from the tree cashews actually contain a deadly toxin, apparently they can actually make you rather dead indeed as well. Turns out that raw cashews contain a chemical called arushiol, which is the same stuff that's found in poison ivy, and it can really mess you up if you happen to be allergic to it. But fear not, those so-called raw cashew nuts that you can actually buy in the store have either been roasted at a high heat or steamed, and that process removes all the gross and dangerous gubbins from the nuts before they're shelled, dried, and peeled. Really, raw cashews are still in their shells and untreated. Those are the ones that absolutely can't be eaten by humans, unless said humans are hell-bent for a one-way ticket to the cemetery. Number 17. Hakari Mmm, rotten shark for dinner, oh yes, said nobody ever. But apparently it is a thing that people eat, and some of them even do it on purpose. This Icelandic dish apparently dates all the way back to Viking times, and we all know that they were only doing things that we should continue to enjoy in the modern world. You know, like all of that invading and ransacking, and general ultra-violence that was perfectly sensible, so they probably had some excellent recipes as well. You know, if you fancy a little bit of fermented shark meat, you'll have to go along with a few rules, because the stuff is not only gross sounding, but it's also actually kind of dangerous. The act of fermenting the shark was actually part of the food preservation practices that were essential in order to ensure year-long supplies of sustenance during the more lean months. And so it would make sense that in years past, you know, before modern things like refrigeration and whatnot became widely available, that this would be put into practice. These days, it's a delicacy, though, that's rooted in keeping the traditions alive, but the sharks are used to make this stuff are actually not even edible when the meat is fresh. It is poisonous, so it does require processing before the meat can actually be ingested. The shark is usually liberated of its head and then gutted like any other fish, but then it's bunged up in a hole in the ground and left for up to 6 to 18 weeks. After that, it's then dug up, cut up, and hung out to dry, and the resulting stuff has received decidedly mixed reviews, anywhere from disgusting and terrible tasting to, like, blue cheese but a hundred times stronger. Longer, and in some extreme cases, physical revulsion and immediate expulsion of the offending item. So I ask you, would you give it a try? Number 16. Rhubarb Leaves Poisonous? Utter rhubarb, I say. Well, actually, it is rhubarb, but unfortunately not the nonsense variety. Now, this one may come as a shocker to you. Even though the stuff that's attached to them is delicious and totally edible, the leaves of the rhubarb plant are stuffed full of a dangerous toxin that can make you feel rather poorly, and occasionally, if you're especially unfortunate, you could be dead. These leaves contain extremely high levels of a substance called oxalic acid. This stuff is natural and found in a whole lot of plants. In fact, it's actually contained in the fruit of the rhubarb plant as well, but in a much more more low and therefore unproblematic level. The leaves, however, are a different story. If a human does ingest too much of this acid, it can lead to all kinds of trouble inside their body. In fact, having too much of this stuff can lead to a condition that can cause a great buildup of calcium oxalate crystals in vital organs. It sounds unpleasant in and of itself, but the symptoms are especially upsetting, which include breathing problems, seizures, and kidney failure and then eventually you could die. Generally though, more mild poisonings present symptoms like vomiting and diarrhea, or worse, toxicity can lead to sore throat, difficulty swallowing, abdominal pain, and vomiting of blood. Well, that's all jolly interesting and no doubt a little alarming. So should you worry? Well, if worrying about rhubarb leaves is the only thing that's keeping you up at night, you'll probably be just fine. Just try not to eat any of them, obviously. Obviously. Number 15. Microwave Popcorn 
Oh no, this one's going to be just a tad upsetting. Now, if you love microwave popcorn, then you should probably know that it might be harboring some nasties that are hell-bent on doing you harm. The thing with this isn't really the popcorn itself that's dangerous, but rather the packaging in which you cook it in the microwave. That bag, while it does seem innocuous enough, is actually coated with a plethora of almost four dozen chemicals. Now, I know it seems barmy, but this is the modern world. And when you pull open that bag and the steam escapes, it's actually puffing out a cocktail of chemicals from the ink and glue on the bag all the way through to the butter flavorings on the corn. There have been reported cases of severe respiratory disease, which is known as popcorn lung. And that's linked to breathing large amounts of a chemical that's used to make the buttery taste of the popcorn. While this condition seems to mainly affect workers and popcorn manufacturing plants. you should probably know that this is a thing that can hit anyone who's exposed to the chemical in its high temperature vapor format. The ingredient itself is actually present in all kinds of foods, which includes Twinkies and red wine, and it's only the chemical process of heating it and allowing it to become a gas that can be inhaled that makes it toxic. Allegedly. Like a lot of things though that are surprisingly deadly, it is necessary to be exposed to this stuff a whole lot before it's going to have any major adverse effects. And the advice of the manufacturer is to wait for the bag to cool down and then open it under a stovetop fan. Even so, it doesn't sound incredibly reassuring, now does it? So, who, who wants to be a guinea pig and try it? No, no, Twinkle, not you. You're the love of my life. Number 14. Chili Peppers some like it hot, really, really hot. I know that I do. But how hot is too hot? When it comes to chili peppers, it turns out that the super spicy peppers can be harmful for your health, if eaten in a massive quantity, that is. Now, one extra spicy chili pepper is not going to do you in, that's true, but when people begin mucking about with things like pepper eating contests and whatnot, that's where the trouble can begin. The chemical that makes peppers spicy is called capsaicin. This is the same stuff that's used to make pepper spray, so it isn't exactly pleasant pleasant, you know. But, however, that chemical is also responsible for the burning sensation you experience when you eat a spicy chili pepper. It's actually a trick that the capsaicin plays on your body's responses because it's not actually burning you, but your body will throw everything at it as though it is. That's why eating hot chili peppers is often uncomfortable. You can get such fun reactions as swelling, nausea, vomiting, eye pain, diarrhea, stomach pain, acid reflux, and even headaches. Now, depending on your own personal sensitivity, the way your body reacts can vary from person to person, but even those who enjoy hot chili peppers might experience extreme symptoms if they get a large amount of very hot ones in a short space of time, like in a contest, for example. That's when these things can become a bit more dangerous and can even cause your lungs to constrict, which, I'm sure you know, is kind of tricky for all the breathing that you actually need to do. Number 12. Honey. Well, this one's a bummer, especially for Winnie the Pooh, I should imagine, but apparently now they reckon that honey can actually kill you. When will the madness ever stop? Is everything out to get us these days? And do we actually really want to know about it? Anyways, here it is, honey is a death trap. It's reckoned that certain poisonous toxins can be found in honey if it isn't pasteurized properly. And the thing is that lots of honey isn't pasteurized at all, especially if you eat the stuff from your local beekeeper. But ironically, that same honey is also likely to be much more tasty than the kind that you'll find in rows and rows of identical jars on your supermarket shelf. Sucks to be a modern human now, doesn't it? Even though we've spent the last few years hearing all about the magical life-giving healthsome properties of honey, there's now a growing concern that there are some hidden death-dealing poisons that are lurking in all that stuff stuff. There are compounds within that can lead to headaches, weakness, and vomiting, and if you happen to eat enough of it, it can actually kill you. 
These compounds may not be naturally present in the honey, but they do seem to be able to form during heating processes, and the stuff is known as HMF. It can actually be mutagenic, carcinogenic, and cytotoxic, meaning that it can cause genetic mutation, cancer, and death to cells. A veritable disco of deadly dance moves, so before you stick your paw in the honey jar, you might want to reconsider. It does look sweet, but is it a trap? Number 11. Peanuts Allergic reactions to peanuts are on the rise, and they're now amongst the most common of allergies, especially amongst children. An allergy to peanuts can cause a severe response, which includes anaphylaxis, which constricts the airways and can cause shock and even a loss of consciousness. So it is pretty serious and potentially super deadly. And if you're an unlucky individual with a severe allergy, well, forget about it. This allergy is so very dangerous and surprisingly common that many schools have actually banned nuts from their premises. No more peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in your lunchbox. That's against the rules, kids. Awareness of this potentially deadly condition has increased over recent years, and that coincides with a sharp increase in the number of children suffering from peanut allergies. A 2017 study in the United States would report that there had been 21% increases in the number of children with peanut allergies since 2010. That is a massive increase. There's now a greater awareness of food allergies in general, and product labeling reflects it, but when you have a life-threatening allergy like this one, eating anything at all can seem like Russian roulette. Number 10. Kidney and Lima Beans Oh, for Pete's sake, this has got to be giving you anxiety. Aren't we supposed to eat more of these sorts of things and not less? Is everything secretly stuffed full of deadly poisons? Now again, this is an issue with stuff being poorly prepared or consumed raw, and who would actually either eat their kidney beans or lima beans when they're raw? Fear not though, these innocent looking beans are probably not going to kill you. At least they aren't going to leap out from your larder and stab you to death anyways. When you cook these beans, you need to go through a few steps to make sure that they're safe to eat. Red kidney beans have to be soaked for many hours before cooking them. This is going to remove some stuff called lectins from the legumes. which can actually kill the cells in your stomach. And nobody really wants that now, do they? Lima beans are even more tricksy. Those things contain a crazy chemical compound called linamarin, which, if not properly cooked and drained, can actually turn into hydrogen cyanide. Get it wrong, and your dinner party may just turn into a murder party. And you know that'll just kill the vibe. Number 9. Tuna Here's the newspaper's old favorite toxic anxiety, tuna. Yes, you've likely already heard that your favorite sandwich filling is stuffed full of mercury and it's slowly going to do you in. However, let's have another look at the story, shall we? As the concentration of nasty chemicals and heavy metals in the waterways increases, so too do the levels of these same toxins in the creatures that live in those waters. And it does make sense, really. Apparently, tuna fish is especially good at absorbing all that nasty stuff, and as a result of all the industrial mining activity and coal-fired power plants, of which we humans are so very fond of, there are now excess amounts of mercury, arsenic, lead, tin, and all kinds of goodies floating about in the rivers, lakes, and seas on planet Earth. Our bodies require minuscule amounts of various metals like zinc and iron, but others, especially in excess, are actually toxic to our delicate systems. So this is bad news for fish and people alike. But don't be alarmed. If you do start to experience fatigue, digestive distress, low mood, sore joints, blood sugar retention, reduced concentration, tingling sensations, or loss of balance, then you could be showing symptoms of metal poisoning. Of course, these are also symptoms of countless other illnesses, and in fact, just as likely a general modern life malaise. So don't go fretting just yet. Although levels of heavy metals in tuna are higher than is ideal, you'd still have to eat a whole lot of the stuff in order to be poisoned by it. Well, probably anyways. Number 8. Margarine. There's a whole load of information out there about 
fats and the kind of fats that we all need in our diets to keep our bodies healthy. Thinking in this field has changed from the idea that all fat is bad to the idea that there are actually good fats and bad fats. Margarine is made up of the sneakiest sorts of bad fats, hydrogenated oils, which are stuffed full of trans fats fats, and it's these trans fats that will do all the worst things inside our feeble human meat suits. Trans fat raises bad cholesterol, not only that, but it also rather rudely lowers good cholesterol and even makes blood platelets stickier. That is super bad news for your old ticker because it increases the risk of heart disease by a whole bunch. For these fairly substantial reasons, it's probably best to avoid all those naughty margarines with their hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated oils. Apparently you can eat butter now though, so go ahead and do that again. Fill up your boots, or you know, put it on your toast, whatever pulls your plonker. Number seven. Shellfish. Like other culprits in the big old bad allergy lottery, shellfish can cause a range of fun and exciting death-making events within the human body. So let's find out how this tasty food is actually trying to kill us all off now, shall we? Shellfish is another one of those things that's basically healthy for most people, most of the time anyway, except when it's not. It sounds kind of ominous, I know, and it sort of is, apart from the allergy danger, which can cause all the usual swelling, restriction of airways, and inhibition of breathing, followed by a bit of death, shellfish has some rather rude habits. Now, if we're to believe the reason hype, there is a connection between the increased risk of ingestion of toxins like mercury and the consumption of seafood. And this is true to some extent. All marine life contains mercury. There is indeed mercury and other heavy metals to be found in all the waters of the earth. And this has increased in recent times as a result of human mess making and pollution. Now again, this is only truly a risk to the most vulnerable of humans like the youngest, oldest, or most poor in health. And it's not recommended that any pregnant or nursing mothers should eat shellfish, as the ingestion of mercury can have effects on the nervous system of developing unborn babies and the very young. For most of us, however, we can continue to stuff ourselves silly at the all-you-can-eat crab buffet, but just not every day of the week. And then of course the final way that it can kill you off doesn't give you an allergy attack or mercury poisoning, it's actually a super efficient vehicle for all the fun food poisoning bugs. That's right, eat a bad crustacean and you may not live to tell the tale. These things just love to harbor such delights of salmonella, E. coli, hepatitis A and other fun juicy stuff that they pick up from the water that's contaminated by sewage. Mmm, delicious. Number 6. Cassava Sometimes it seems as though you can do right for doing wrong. Everywhere you turn, there's a booby trap. You follow a whole food, gluten-free, low sugar, super healthsome, whatever the latest trend diet is, and even that's trying to make you dead. Cassava flour is a popular gluten-free alternative to traditional wheat-based products, but this is not the form that can be deadly. Woo, that's something anyways. No, it's actually the cassava's leaves and roots in where the danger lies. And guess what? They're packed full of cyanide. Huzzah! Apparently just two roots is enough to administer a fatal dose of cyanide. Now, this is important. Don't take it as any kind of advice or guidance though, as all this dangerous poison chat is making me and Twinkle very nervous indeed. And we would very much appreciate it if you promise you won't play with any of this stuff. The crux of the matter when it comes to cassava is that you should not consume it raw or in any large quantity, and it needs to be properly prepared or you're going to run the risk of getting dead. Regular consumption of cyanogenic glycosides, that's the cyanide stuff in this vegetable, can actually lead to cyanide poisoning. This can result in impaired thyroid function, nerve damage, paralysis, harm to the organs, and yes, that ultimate symptom, death. You know, the most fun one. Number 5. Nutmeg Here's a weird one. 
Did you know that Nutmeg has some trippy secrets? Well, I didn't, so it was news to me. Nutmeg is actually so commonplace that it can be found in many pantries around the world, and for the most part, it's used in making all kinds of delicious foods even more tasty. But if you happen to eat a whole bunch of it, you may have some side effects that you didn't quite expect. Nutmeg actually contains a chemical that's found in many herbs and spices, but when it's consumed in quantity, it can make you high as a kite. Yes, that's right. Nutmeg can actually give you psychotic symptoms like hallucinations, disorientation, and hyperexcitation. And to be honest, it's quite difficult to actually eat enough of the stuff to get much effect. A nice jog around the park would probably give you as much of a high, most likely without the negative side effects of dizziness and nausea. Number 4. Elderberries here we are again with another one of those sneaky plants that's hiding a lot of nasty cyanide inside. Elderberries themselves are not generally the problem, although they should be properly ripe and strained before eating, or the tricksy little things can give you the most unpleasant dose of nausea, vomiting, and severe diarrhea. The cyanides hiding out in the leaves, twigs, and seeds of the plant, and the cyanogenic glycoside in these parts of the elderberry can actually cause seizures, coma, and if you're especially unlucky, even death. Number 3. Live Octopus if eating a live octopus is something that you're into, well, really, who am I and my pet guinea pig Twinkle to judge? You should probably just acquaint yourself with some of the dangers of such a niche gastronomic experience, though. To begin with, when you're munching on the live octopus, although really, do you want to do this, it does seem rather rude to not even allow the animal the dignity of being dead first. However, if you do, and you need to chew properly, or else you're going to get its sucker stuck in your throat on the way down. Stuff stuck in your throat? Well, you may or may not be aware. That can actually cause you to choke to death. Apparently, there's a way to eat the octopus that makes it less dangerous, but possibly not much less gross. The chef, quote unquote, prepares the poor creature by removing the mucus from its tentacles and then cutting them into small pieces so that they can cause less of a choking hazard. And that's all well and good, but it is still a live octopus. What are you doing with your life? Number 2. The Castor Bean well, this is just stupidly dangerous, and frankly, I don't think it's something that anyone should be eating anyway. So let's just all agree to just not, right? Castor beans are apparently what's used to make castor oil, which was once doled out to people for all sorts of ailments from constipation to skin complaints. It's also used as a component in biodiesel and as an industrial lubricant. Should you really be ingesting it at all, though? Anyways, those beans that are used to make the oil are actually where ricin, one of the deadliest toxins on the planet, comes from. In fact, ricin is so terribly toxic to humans that it can actually wreak mass destruction on your intestines, and it can be fatal, as well as give you neurological damage and ultimately a hideous, painful death in the end. So if I were you, I would just avoid the castor bean altogether. Number 1. A key. A key is the national fruit of Jamaica, but it's also apparently dangerous. The fruit does need to be fully ripened because it contains some pretty nasty toxins that can actually kill you if you ingest them. So that's why the fruit's banned from being imported in the United States and is only available canned. This is one of those especially tricksy foods that may be eaten when it's ripe without any adverse effects. However, if you're unfortunate enough to munch on it when it's not properly ripe, then it can induce vomiting, and in some very severe cases, actually the poisoning can be fatal. Well, I never knew just how many foods were trying to make me dead. Seems as though even old favorites that we as humans have been scoffing for a millennia have had deadly intentions this entire time. Have we all unwittingly been dicing with death on a daily basis? Which of these deadly foods surprised you the most? And are you feeling nervous about your lunch now? As always, let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.